This is Morning Motivation for Educators on the Bee Podcast Network. Learn about all the shows at bpodcastnetwork.com. You'll hear from a variety of formal and informal educators who help put this podcast together. If you'd like to contribute your voice to the show, please go to morningmotivationedu.com to apply. I am Joey Massio. I was a middle school teacher for seven years, and now I run Sidekick to Hero, a coaching business that helps teens with confidence, social skills, and goals. Today, I want to talk about sleep. You know you're not getting enough sleep. I know you're not getting enough sleep. Everybody knows you're not getting enough sleep. When I talk to some educators or administrators or whoever it may be in education, or really any adult, they say, I'm just so tired these days. Almost like it's a, it's a mystery. But if you were to actually think about when you go to bed and when you wake up, then it might make sense of why you are so tired. All experts say that adults need at least seven hours of sleep a night. So think about that. Are you getting seven hours of sleep? Or are you getting a little less than that? So if you are, I have a concept that has worked very well for me. Picture yourself when it's nighttime and you're supposed to be going to bed, but you delay it and you delay it. And uh, I I don't know what you're doing, but if you're like me, you're scrolling through the news, uh, social media, getting some last minute work done, whatever it is, but picture what thoughts are overwhelming your mind at that time that's stopping you from getting in bed. It's probably something like this. Well, I've had a busy day and I need some me time. I deserve some time for me. Or, man, there's just, there's so much to do and to see and to scroll through. There's a lot out there in the world I need to catch up on. You know, I'm really not even that tired. And all those thoughts really boil down to this underlying thought. Being awake is so exciting. I I need to be awake right now. Now, think about in the morning when your alarm goes off and you're in bed and you need to get up. What thoughts dominate your mind then? It's probably thoughts like, man, my bed is so comfortable. I never want to leave it. Everything that... I need to do before I leave for work can wait or be skipped. I mean, I I already showered once this week, right? I can skip that. Sleep is so important, man. I'm, I'm so tired. I, I need to stay in bed because I'm so, so tired. And all those thoughts boil down to, well, there's no place else I'd rather be than in my bed. Now, what if you could switch those two mindsets. Think all the thoughts you think in the morning when you don't want to get out of bed and think those the night before when it's time to go to bed. And then all the thoughts that stop you from getting into bed, use those thoughts in the morning to get you out of bed. It's totally possible. I do it all the time and it works. When it's time for me to go to bed and I'm scrolling through the news I start thinking my pro sleep thoughts that I generally think in the morning. You know what? My bed is really comfortable. And when I get in it, I'm never going to want to leave it. Everything that I want to do right now can wait or be skipped. Sleep is the important thing. You know what? I am tired. That's something like I, I can create more tiredness for me by thinking that thought. Ultimately, I think there's no other place I'd rather be than in my bed. And that gives me the motivation to turn off my phone and start getting ready for bed and get to bed. And then when my alarm goes off in the morning, I force myself to think my pro awake thoughts, man, I, I got to get up and get some important me time in because let's be honest, the me time that we have in the morning is generally more productive and healthier than the me time we have at night. Usually in the morning, working out, uh, preparing a healthy meal, meditating, whatever it is that you do at night, it's typically eating and doing social media and uh, watching television. Right. Uh, Another thought I think in the morning is, man, there is so much to do and to see and to scroll through, jump on the news, jump on the wordle of the day. 
whatever that stimulates your mind that you used to do the night before to stimulate your mind so much where you weren't ready for sleep. Do that in the morning. Think the thought, you know what? I'm not even that tired. Most of the time that's even true when I'm laying in bed and I want to stay in bed. And I think, you know what? I'm I'm actually not even that tired. And that lets me get out of bed. Ultimately, I think, you know what? Being awake is so exciting. So practice swapping those mindsets. It totally works. It changes your headspace around sleep. So you can have a fully charged battery all the time because that's going to help with how you manage your classroom, how you interact with students. It's going to help your physical and your mental health. Nothing is more important than sleep. So get more of it. Thanks for listening. And whatever role you have in education, we have a podcast for you at bpodcastnetwork.com. Who among your friends and colleagues needs to hear this message today? Please share it with them right now.